Today I'm making a belly pan mold. This is uh, in situ, it's directly off the uh, prototype wings. These wings were made pretty much just for this uh, to make the mold with and uh, will probably never be flown, but that's what we do. So it's just done with uh, basically Bondo body filler from a vehicle. And uh, I'm just going to mold it so uh, it gets the complete curvature of the wing. And then this area here will, have a, will be a speed brake. So you can see that I've already got the hinge locators in and a heavy panel line, which is where I'm going to do the cut. So uh, I'm just going to spluge this up, put some uh, tool coat on, and I'll lay it up and uh, we'll do a short clip uh, when we get back. And the belly pen mold is complete. Came up pretty good. I've just put the first coat of wax on it. There's a few scratches in it, but that's fine. They'll go away once it's painted. But there's lots of detail. See the screws. Uh, this was a repair I had to do. Uh, somehow I got a big bubble in there. So that was just some uh, two part uh, filler. My stuff, little uh, piece of plastic put here to build up the edge, and uh, that's good to go. And uh, with lots of wax and PVA, it's not going to stick. Anyhow, next is uh, another couple of coats of wax, and then I'll PVA up and lay one up today. So, uh, I didn't do anything fancy with the back of these molds. So what I'm going to do is just put some hot glue and uh, these foam blocks on to stabilize it. Otherwise, this thing's going to rock and that is one pain in the butt when you're uh, trying to lay something up. So just a little amount of hot glue here. Give it just a few seconds to cool off a little bit. Then we'll stick this guy on. So I'll just put that one on. And then we'll do the other side. Uh, you notice I've got this prime now. I only put a very light coat of primer on. But you can see that the uh, detail has come out beautiful. I think this is going to look awesome. So... Uh, oh. Get it done and see how it goes. So, again, let it cool down just a little bit, otherwise, it melts the foam. We want the hot glue so it's just a wee bit sticky. And there we go. Press it in. And, uh, now the mold is nice and stable, so that'll be great. I'll trim these pieces off and uh, we'll be good to go. Time to lay up the belly pan. So I'm just gonna uh, get a liberal amount of uh, resin in all the corners. I only used a very, very light coat of primer because I wanted it to dry off so I could get this done today. Normally I put a heavier coat on and leave it overnight and uh, let it cure. But a thin coat can cure off in about three hours or so. And that's what we did today. All right, now I've got that in. So I'm gonna mix some goop up now. All right, so I've mixed some uh, goop up. It's uh, just regular resin and uh, microspheres or micro balloons, depending on who you are. And I'm just gonna get it into these real sharp corners here. I also used about 10% cotton flock just to give it some strength. 
So before I uh, start putting the cloth on, I'm going to uh, put some real uh, high heat on it so that we get the bubbles out if there is any. All right, we have everything uh, prepared. We've got all our materials cut. And uh, we've got our guy here for reference. So uh, let's get to it. So I'm not gonna use any goop on this, <coughs> excuse me, on this layout. We're gonna uh, just see how it comes out. So I'm just gonna put a nice amount where I need it and nothing where I don't need it. So I'm going to make sure I get lots of goop, I should say resin, in the detailed areas. So we'll just get all those areas covered. Working from the inside out for the most part. Being careful not to drag it all across. We'll load up the edges. And then we'll run the uh, super hot uh, heat gun over everything. So if there's any air bubbles, it lifts them out of those edges. Uh, I guess I could have used some goop, but yeah, we'll see. Yeah, what you have to do when you're doing all this molding stuff, you just have to keep searching for the best layup. And once you've achieved it, write it down in a, a book. I, I actually have a lab book. Yeah, being an old engineer, you know, you, you tend to uh, have little lab books to keep abreast of all the things you've done. And I find it's invaluable, to be honest. Uh, it's like when I'm building a Eurofighter, which was 12 years ago, I think, when I made the mold. Um, you know, you forget. So I just pull the lab book out and it tells me what cloth to cut, what cloth to use. Do I use goop? Uh, you know, what were the problems? And so forth. So it really does help. Let's just pull this guy here. It's pretty deep. And one more piece, I think we're done. One thing I've been having problems with, with all this super scale detail, because I've got hundreds, well, thousands of rivets and screws and God knows what else in this thing. And I've been getting voids. Even when I vacuum bag, I've been getting voids. And I think what it's doing is getting air trapped, you know, inside those little Phillips screw heads and things like that. And as it cures, it starts to uh, come out. Did I get some in there? No, I didn't. So, I've been using this uh, method of using the heat gun, which I've showed you in a couple of other videos. And it seems to be working. Whether the heat gun's actually doing anything or not, I don't know. But we'll find out. Here we go. As I've said before, this is a super, super hot heat gun. 
You can see little bubbles popping, but you know, are they important? I don't know. Alrighty, I've got this uh, part laid up now. Uh, the way I did it was uh, three quarter ounce tabs in all the detail, three quarter ounce sheet across the whole thing, split and overlapped, because uh, it makes it easier to put the three quarter ounce on. Then the same uh, method with uh, six ounce, sorry, uh, two ounce cloth, stripped down the middle, overlap in the middle, gives it more strength without any weight virtually uh trimmed everything's just butting pretty much up to the edges there's no goop used in this so i'm curious to see how this will come out uh so it should come out flush and everything once it's done uh then uh a complete sheet of uh, six ounce cloth then some perimeter strips of about one inch wide six ounce all the way around just to edge it up a bit you know get it stronger for the speed break, uh, a panel of six ounce cloth up to about here. Uh, so that's two six ounce plus a two ounce. And then three strips across this way where the speed break is, which is this area here. Uh, overlapped, <clears throat> excuse me. And then a couple going this way where the hinges actually are. So you end up with basically four layers of six ounce where it's needed. Three ounce, three layers of six ounce in the rest of it, which should make it stiff. If necessary, I can laser cut some plywood or put some stiffeners or whatever. That is yet to be seen. Now, here's a tip. This is a very flat mold. When it's cured, there's basically nowhere to get a chisel in or whatever to split the part out of the mold. So, you put these tabs in, just a couple of, you know, throwaway tabs, which will cut off later, and that will help you pull it out, pull a corner up, and once you've got a corner up, then you can shoot some high-pressure air in, and uh, the part usually will just pop out. Let's see if I can pull the tabs up. Those tabs just worked out fabulous. That made a... Things a whole lot better. Oh, shit. We got, we need to uh, trim her up a bit. Let's get my Andy Dandy knife. I have to push this back in now. All right, let's see how that does. Just ease her up. As you can see, this isn't totally unfully cured. Uh, should have left it another eight hours or so, but it's come out absolutely beautiful. No voids whatsoever. I don't know where you can see it. This needs washing off. Leave it for a while to cure a bit more. I'll put it back in the uh, mold and uh, we'll clean her up and trim her and we'll be good to go. Well, let's see if we can zoom in. I don't know. But you can see it's a uh, pretty good detail. It's hard to get the light in this place. So we'll see if it comes out on camera. Anyhow, much better than the first one. So that's the belly pan done. 
If you like this video, please subscribe. It would really help. Thank you.